Hi everyone, welcome to today's webinar. Uh, my name is Christine Gibble. I'm the Senior Admissions Counselor here at Newman University. Uh, and just gonna go through an information session and tell you a little bit about Newman and what we have to offer. Um, before we get started, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the history of Newman. Um, so Newman is located about 25 minutes south of Philadelphia. Uh, founded by the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia in 1965 and originally were a school for education um, and only for uh, ladies. Um, as the years have gone by, we've grown um, and achieved university status in 2009, uh, currently co-ed uh, and offer uh, many, many different majors. Um, here at Newman, I'll go through what we offer in the current day. Um, so approximately 2,600 students um, here at Newman with 48 different academic programs. Um, average class size here at Newman is about 22, which is pretty small, uh, and a 14 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Really the biggest takeaway from all of these uh, statistics is that Newman is a small and personalized education. You're going to know your professors on a first name basis and they're going to know you and you're going to have the same professor all the way from freshman year all the way up to senior year, um, which is really great. Um, also, uh, statistic, statistic of note here on the screen, 99% uh, of students receive some sort of financial aid uh, which is really fantastic. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we look at uh, financial aid. Before we get into the academic programs that we offer, I wanted to first talk about how we help our students um, be successful in the classroom here at Newman. Uh, and one of the biggest things that we offer here is the hub uh, at Newman. And inside the hub, is tutoring and writing services, disability services, academic coaching if you're struggling with maybe some time management, uh, and then the career and personal development office. Uh, and career and personal development is going to have lists of paid and unpaid internships as well as um, help with things like resume writing and interview skills, um, really things that are important in securing a job after college. Uh, also on the screen is the honors program and the admissions criteria is below. Um, so 3.5 GPA with 1120 SAT. Um, so those are the minimum requirements. Probably the largest um, perk of the honors program is that students that are in the honors program get to register for classes before the rest of the student body. Here we have listed our arts and sciences majors. So uh, probably the most popular on this screen, looking at biology um, and biology clinical lab science. Clinical lab science is gonna be a medical lab position where students are um, you know, collecting samples, running tests, writing, resort, writing reports, that kind of thing, um, as well as communication and digital media. Uh, and then criminal justice, we have a couple different options for criminal justice, so straight bachelors. Um, we also offer the masters in accounting, forensic accounting and fraud detection, um, as well as a dual enrollment with the police academy. Um, so junior year, you would dual enroll with the police academy and then graduate senior year from the academy and with your bachelors in uh, criminal justice. Uh, also a big one here on this page is psychology. Um, and psychology here at Newman is gonna give you all the building blocks that you need to be successful um, if you were to pursue a master's or a doctorate level of psychology. Uh, nursing and health sciences. So nursing is probably our most popular major that we offer here on Newman's campus. Um, nursing, we're very, is a very proud of our nursing program. Um, so we see about 400 applicants into our nursing program a year. We have seats for about 125 students um, and it's first come first serve. Uh, nursing, our uh, NCLEX, so the NCLEX pass rate, so the NCLEX is the nursing certification exam that all students need to take to become certified. Students who graduate from our program um, pass with that pass that test with about a 90% or above, which is which is really great. Um, the national average for that pass rate is about an 85 to an 88, so our program is very good. Um, students can do clinicals at a variety of different places. Um, so uh, here in the area around Philadelphia, we're looking at um, Crozier Keystone, Mainline Health. We also have agreements with CHOP, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, as well as Lankanau Hospital in Philadelphia. Um, and then we're really close to Delaware as well. So if you wanted to do a clinical rotation at um, AI DuPont, which is a children's hospital in Delaware, as well as a Christiana Care Health System. Um, students, uh, nursing program is very rigorous, um, but students come out of our program 
um, very prepared for their career. Um, and we're, we're very proud of our nursing program. Uh, also offer health sciences. So um, pre-professional programs such as exercise physiology and strength and conditioning. Um, and we have a brand new health sciences center to accommodate these majors. So uh, with brand new uh, classrooms and labs to facilitate the athletic training and physical therapy, as well as a 300 person lecture hall just to kind of uh, accommodate our nursing students. Here you have probably um, our second most popular major, so business. Uh, in business, you have the accounting again, and then you also have uh, tracks in, three tracks in business administration. So tracks in finance, human resources, and international business, as well as computer information systems, which is basically IT. Uh, and then new for the fall of 2019, we added cybersecurity and data science analytics. Um, which we're really excited about those careers uh, in those fields and being able to offer a degree in those growing uh, fields. Uh, also have uh, sports management, so sports business. Um, so front of the house and back of the house things such as, um, you know, putting on a sporting event as well as the front of the house, um, you know, advertising, marketing, uh, ticketing, all of those things, contracts, all of those things that uh, take place for a sporting event. Education and human services. So we offer the early education uh, with a special education certification uh, and then secondary ed. So the way we achieve secondary ed is that you would major in biology or English or math or political science and then you would minor in secondary ed and that's how we achieve the secondary ed piece. Um, also have a new grant that we're excited about geared towards the STEM majors for secondary ed. Um, and you also have a scholarship associated with that grant for those students. Um, social work. Social work is basically an offshoot of psychology um, and it's a new program here at Newman for in the last three years or so. Um, and it's really going to give you that hands-on experience that you need for working in the field. Here we have listed our pre-professional programs and anywhere where you see pre, you're going to need more than just a bachelor's degree. Um, so here you see pre-athletic training at the top. So athletic training has moved from a minimum bachelor's to a minimum master's and our program has changed to reflect that as well. Um, Pre-engineering at two and a half and two and a half with Drexel. Um, and then we also have our pre-law three plus three with Widener. We have a pre-occupational therapy and an agreement with Alvernia, as well as we have on our campus the um, pre-physical therapy, the doctor in physical therapy, which is exciting. Here we have listed, we talked a little bit about internships, but here we get into it a little bit more. Um, one in five graduates lands a job directly from one of their internships, which is a great statistic that we're excited about. Um, they're listed in the middle of the screen are places that students have had internships in the past. Um, and all majors require an internship. So some majors like business require at least two, um, but uh, all majors here at Newman require at least one internship in the Career and Personal Development Office can really help you with that. 80% um, of students, ha uh, graduates uh, have, are employed or, or continuing education within the first year, which we're also really excited about. That's a, that's a great statistic. So we've covered um, being in the classroom, uh, but now we also want to have some fun, right? Uh, so we're a college student. We offer um, over 30 different clubs and activities. Um, Boogie Nights, which is a dance team on campus. Enactus, which is a social responsibility club. Uh, and then uh, major specific uh, clubs like Nights for Education. Uh, we also are a uh, Catholic education in the Franciscan tradition, and we offer campus ministry different opportunities there so service emergence experience uh, I know there was a group that went to Guatemala over the spring break um, and they were doing some some service work as well as sightseeing we also offer uh, annual treats so two really specific annual treats that we offer are um, one for students entering uh, their freshman year uh, just to kind of um, set themselves up for success moving forward and then one at the end of senior year um, for students who are looking to reflect on their time as a Newman student and to move forward into their career. We also offer daily mass um, and it's not required, but it's definitely offered for those who would like to take part in that. Um, also have uh, homecoming and family weekend. We'd like to stay connected with our alumni um, and that's one of the big events on campus where alumni come back and kind of mix and mingle with current students, uh, work in some activities like fireworks and food trucks. Um, and I know we, we centered it around the um, 
Halloween holiday last year, so it was fun to kind of see like face painting and pumpkin carving and then all of those connections being made with current and former Newman students. Offer a study abroad here on Newman. Uh, one of my deepest regrets is that I did not take advantage of study abroad when I was a student. Um, here listed we have Australia, China, France, Ireland, Spain, I Kingdom, all the countries that students from Newman have visited during their time here with us. Um, and basically, uh, study abroad is covered under tuition. The only thing that's out of pocket for the student is the flight there and back, which is really reasonable and really a great deal. Um, I would say if you can work it into your, your course schedule to do so. Um, for nursing students, it's tough, um, but I would say let your academic advisor know that you're interested in doing study abroad um, and they will, they will work it in for you. When you come back from study abroad, we want to make sure that you have a nice place to call home and we offer what is called sweet style living. Um, so you have uh, students on one side, students on another, joined by a common area, sink and shower on one side, sink and toilet on another. Um, also offer a 24 hour um, fitness center, or uh, I'm sorry, a fitness center recently renovated um, with new equipment, uh, new uh, things so that students uh, can work out, as well as 24 hour security on campus. So if you, uh, you know, secure in your buildings um, and then there's also people uh, staff around if you have any issues uh, also a commuter friendly campus um, offer um, different spaces on campus just kind of relax uh, in between classes um, comfy furniture and tables and things like that so students can kind of congregate after classes um, also going to work with you on the academic advising side to make sure that you're course schedule works out so that you are comfortable. Maybe you don't have to come to class, but come to, um, to campus, you know, four days a week. Maybe you only come Tuesdays and Thursdays and that's what works best with your schedule. And academic advising is gonna work with commuter students to make sure that that happens. So offer athletics on our campus. So we have uh, 350 uh, student athletes on our campus. We are division three athletics. Um, so there are uh, pros and cons to D3. So uh, the pro is that you're playing against like ability, smaller teams. Um, the con is I can't give you any scholarship or money scholarships for uh, playing a sport. Um, listed on the screen there, you have the different teams that we offer here at Newman. Some of the big ones uh, for men's are ice hockey, lacrosse, soccer. Um, and then for the women, field hockey, lacrosse, softball, soccer, volleyball. Um, and then down at the bottom, you have our club teams. Um, and they're listed there for you. Esports, which is a big one right now, um, as well as there's no football on Newman's campus, but we do offer um, rugby so you achieve the, the pushing and the shoving uh, that football provides. <laughs> to highlight a couple um, new things here at Newman. So we have a brand new data science analytics lab uh, to accommodate our two new majors, the data science analytics and the cybersecurity. Uh, and that lab has about 20 different computers um, and its own server room. So we can teach students how to hack and how to get into systems. Uh, and it's all right there at your fingertips. Also, I covered a little bit the new health sciences center. So we have the uh, new classrooms outfitted for athletic training and physical therapy, and the 300 person lecture hall is pictured there as well. Um, up there in the right hand corner, we have uh, renovated a house on campus to accommodate our honors students. Uh, and we're excited about that. That will open in the fall of 2020, so coming up. Uh, we're excited about that building just to kind of offer a, a, another perk to our honors students. Um, and then also the Sora Luna Lounge. Um, so Sora Luna is kind of a place for students to congregate and to hang out, um, has different types of seating. Um, and then we'll also have the opportunity to have like slam poets and open mic night for musicians and things like that, just to kind of add some, some more activities to students for students on campus. I want to go through the admissions process. So there are two ways to apply to Newman. Uh, one is on our website directly. Um, and then the other is through the common application. And both of those applications are free. Um, required items that I need to be able to review your application. So official high school transcripts. Uh, and then we have turned test optional here in the spring. Um, so if you did take your SAT or ACTs, we'd be glad to see them, but they're not required. 
year we're doing an early action deadline of December 1st, which means if you have all your materials to me by December 1st, I guarantee a decision by Christmas. Um, and then after that, we're rolling admission, which means that whenever you get your materials to me, it's gonna take about 10 to 14 days to get a decision out to you. to apply it's important to start thinking about financial aid uh, and the first step is to complete your FAFSA. Uh, so FAFSA stands for free application for federal student aid uh, and that helps the government generate your EFC or your estimated family contribution. Um, that goes live October 1st uh, and our code there is on the screen for you. Also if you're a junior a sophomore or junior I would uh, point you towards our net price calculator you can type in some estimates of what you think your family makes and what you think um, your GPA is and then it will spit out um, what we think you'll get in scholarships and then what you think your estimated balance would be. Also, like I said earlier, the 99% of students receive some sort of financial aid and that is in the form of a scholarship. So we give a merit scholarship to every applicant that we look at. Um, this year we offered for students entering fall of 2020, we give somewhere between eight and $18,000 depending on overall GPA. Um, also offer a transfer scholarship, uh, merit scholarship. So we give somewhere between 10 and $15,000 based on overall GPA, as well as a nursing award for all our nursing students. We give a Catholic high school award to students who have graduated from a, a Catholic high school. And then the on-campus grant, just to kind of offset the cost of living on campus. Uh, and then a legacy award. So if mom, dad, brother, sister have graduated from Newman, we'll give a legacy award. Listed down there at the bottom are different scholarships that have applications attached to them. So in addition to the admissions application, they have a separate application for um, receiving those. We give a new art scholarship to students who are interested in the arts, uh, theater, or music, and we give six $2,000 scholarships. Also give a scholarship to Crystal Ray students uh, of Philadelphia, and there is a uh, additional application for that, as well as the McGuire Scholarship, which has an application and some other criteria for you to apply. look here and introduce my colleagues here in the admissions department. So uh, there you have my contact information uh, and my territory. I uh, help recruit students from um, Delaware uh, and Delaware County, PA, as well as Ohio. We have Scott, who works traditionally with um, transfer students uh, from Maryland. Andrea, who is our admissions counselor for Philadelphia and Montgomery and Bucks, and then helps first year Maryland students. Uh, and then Kelly, who recruits um, Chester County, uh, New Jersey, and Florida. Uh, and all our contact information is there as well. Um, I would say if you're interested in hearing more information uh, about a certain major or about scholarship opportunities or how to apply, you have questions about campus, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, our contact information is there. We'd love to hear from you um, and we'll be glad to answer any and all questions that you might have. I want to stay connected so we know that you know uh, everyone is looking for online content right now and we want to make sure that um, you can get some more uh, ways to experience campus um, so on the top there you can actually click that link or copy that link and it will take you to our virtual tour um, where you can see what campus looks like um, also want you to go to our visit page so hopefully once uh, everything clears up we can get you here on campus to see it for yourself also, um, go live about every day uh, on Facebook, and our handle is there, as well as have different information and content on uh, Instagram and Twitter for students who are looking for to follow us on social media. So that wraps up the presentation. Uh, I just want to touch base on any of the questions that we have. Andrea, how's it looking? We have a good bunch of uh, questions, actually. Perfect. What's here? Um, okay, so the first one, um, does Newman have a ROTC program? Uh, we do actually. So we have two different agreements. We have uh, agreements with St. Joe's and Villanova and uh, it, we, the contact information for that student if they would like. Um, and then we have, can you pick your own roommate and building? Uh, so typically freshman students live in what's called Flynn. Hall, and that is um, 
for freshman students. It's recently renovated. We spent about a million dollars last year renovating that building. Um, has brand new um, equipment and accessories, uh, and I'm kind of kind of jealous. It's nicer than my apartment right now. Um, what we're looking at is students once they have decided that they want to attend Newman can actually. Um, fill out what's called a housing questionnaire. And that will put you with students, to questions like, um, you know, the, are you a morning person? Are you an evening person? Are you, what kind of music do you like? Are you organized chaos or are you a neat freak? Uh, and that housing res life uses that to, to house you with other students. Um, and then you can also kind of request uh, to live with another student if you know that they are attending Newman. As long as you each put each other's name at the bottom, uh, Housing Res Life will match you up together. Awesome. Um, how can they make their application stand out? Uh, I would say be honest, right? So um, if you're not in activities but you work, say that. Say that you, you, know, you, you work to make some money for your family or for yourself. Um, I would say to um, be genuine. Nobody, uh, we, we like to see uh, in the essay and things like that, the, a student who's genuine and is opening up about themselves and who they are. Um, and I think that's probably one of my biggest um, pointers is just to be genuine in the application process. Can you talk more about the criminal justice field? Sure. Um, so criminal justice, um, probably is one of the biggest majors that we offer uh, a, a few different opportunities. Um, so I can answer questions um, about, you know, the dual enrollment with the uh, police academy or cybersecurity um, or just criminal justice in general um, if they have specific questions. Um, how safe is campus? Campus is actually really safe. Um, so every student has a Newman ID where they have to swipe into each building um, and that also holds your meal plans and things like that. Um, also, we like to just, you know, have people on campus that are just kind of look around, driving around, seeing if you need help. Um, we also have posts on campus um, that you can actually hit if you have an emergency um, and campus safety will come right to you. Very suburban area. so. Um, not too much is going on around campus that would be, that would require campus safety. Are students required to live on campus for their first year? Um, currently it's not required, um, but if you, if you want to look from campus first year, you absolutely can. That's definitely an opportunity that you can take advantage of to kind of uh, lower the costs a little bit. Is there an option for single living? Um, the, typically, we don't have single rooms, um, but if there's a need, um, we can certainly address that with Res Life. How many students live on campus, and is it a suitcase school? Typically, we see, so last year we brought in a class of about 430 students. About 80% of those students lived on campus. Um, once you get into the higher years, uh, junior and senior year, you're going to see that kind of flip-flop and more students live off campus. About 20% of upperclassmen live on campus. Um, suitcase school, we get that question a lot. Honestly, I'm an alumni of Newman um, and I lived about an hour from Newman. At the time when I was a student, I never went home. I never went home. I was always working or involved in, you know, a, an activity or a club. Um, so there's definitely ways to get involved on campus. People just have to take the opportunity to take advantage of them. What is the acceptance rate for the nursing program? Uh, except specifically for the acceptance rate for the nursing program, I don't know that offhand, but I do know um, we have certain requirements. So you're looking at, um, you know, 2.5 overall GPA, you have a science GPA of a 3.0. Um, if you take your tests, um, we'll look at that as well. This is a good one. How is Newman special in your opinion? Oh, in my opinion. So I'm, like I said, I'm a, a, an alum of Newman. Um, one of the things I really enjoyed about my time here at Newman was um, the community. So. You go down the hall and you bump into 10 different people and they all know your name. They know your first name basis, they know a little bit about you, they know 
you know, struggling in a class, they're there for you. If you have, you know, something exciting to tell them, they want to hear it. Um, and to this day, I still have people who remember me as a student and who are, are still good friends today. I would say that the community is probably the most special thing about Newman. Are freshmen permitted cars on campus? They are. Freshmen are allowed to have cars on campus at no cost um, to register it with campus safety. Okay. Um, they would like to know more about the police academy when it comes to cars. Okay, awesome. So um, junior year with us, you would dual enroll with the police academy, the Delaware County Police Academy. Basically junior year, all of junior year, you are um, with the police academy. So you're taking classes with them um, and taking all of their training, basic training and things like that. And then uh, senior year, you graduate with your degree in criminal justice and from the police academy. Gives you a little bit of a leg up on the competition. So typically students go from high school to um, the police academy um, or high school to college. They don't do both. Um, it kind of get, makes you a more well-rounded applicant when you're looking for jobs after the police academy and after having your bachelor's. All right, what is included in tuition? Tuition, so tuition covers all the costs of going to classes, um, as well as um, any fees that you would need. Um, and then tuition basically covers uh, the library services, academic services, um, you know, the different clubs and activities are covered in tuition. Um, if you play a sport, those are covered in tuition. Um, so all of those type of perks that you wouldn't necessarily think of are covered. Um, and then room and board covers living in the residence hall as well as uh, eating in the dining hall and the different meals that we have here on campus. All right, can you talk more about the sports management program? And yeah, sports, sports management is actually pretty cool. So sports management, so there's two different pieces to it. So something like, um, the behind the scenes of putting on a sporting event. So here in Philadelphia, the Sixers and um, the Flyers play in the same stadium. And there's actually ice underneath the uh, boards for basketball. So what does that look like from a sports management standpoint of actually changing that arena so that you can accommodate the different sport activity that's actually going on. So if you have a ice hockey game or a basketball game, what's that look like for your prep? Okay, your breakdown. Um, and then on the flip side of that is the front of the house stuff. So contracts, advertising, um, the different like sales. So for tickets and things like that, that's all considered sports management um, and sports business. So sports management is going to cover both sides of that. You could have an opportunity to do an internship in Philadelphia where you can work with the Flyers or the Sixers or the Union and see what it's like to actually put on a sporting event, which is which is pretty cool. Are athletes usually housed together? Uh, typically, we don't house athletes together, um, but it can happen that maybe you have you know, if it's a lady a volleyball player and a soccer player together, it could just happen that way. Typically you'll see students who are on teams together move off campus um, and have a, maybe an apartment off campus that they rent and there'll be four, maybe five teammates in a, an apartment or a house. Awesome, it looks like this is the last one. Um, Perfect. Let's talk more about the nursing program. Yeah, so nursing, we see about 400 applicants into our nursing program a year, um, and we have seats in our nursing program for 125 students, um, and it's a first come, first serve basis. Uh, NCLEX, NCLEX is the nursing certification exam that all students have to take. Actually, um, our students graduate with a 90% or above, which is really good, which is above the national average, about an 85 to an 88, which we're really proud of. Um, students do clinical rotations um, anywhere uh, at the area hospital system. So we're looking at, um, you know, Crozier Keystone Mainline Health here in the Philadelphia area. Uh, also in the city of Philadelphia, we have agreements with CHOP and Lankanau. Um, and then we're really close to Delaware, so you could do a, a clinical at maybe CHOP, uh, or um, I'm sorry, AI DuPont, which is a children's hospital in Delaware, um, or Christiana Care. Um, so there's a couple of different options for clinical rotations. Um, nursing is, is our most popular major. 
Um, it's tough though. It's rigorous, rigorous program, um, and it, but it's a really good program. You're very prepared for the field when you graduate. Awesome, and that looks like that's all the questions. Awesome, great. Well, I appreciate everyone taking the time to be with us today. Um, I uh, hope that we can see all of you on campus uh, soon and uh, stay safe. <laughs>